This is one of my favorite books. The Night Before Christmas. Look at that. What are those? Those are elves. There's a lot of elves. We should count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen elves. And they're all carrying toys or bulbs to like to decorate the tree or candy canes. another picture. Oh. Was the night before Christmas went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mom in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. So many pretty colors on here. There's fairies. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, to open the shutters and threw up the sash. Look at the kitty sitting in the window. It even has a bow on it. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eye should appear but a miniature slate and a tiny reindeer. Who's in the sleigh? Who is that? Yep, that's Santa. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, at Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Look at those pretty reindeer. And all the elves riding on them. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas too. St. Nicholas is another one. That is a full sleigh. There's so many toys that are falling out. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Look, you can see that. There's Santa. He looks a little surprised. Can you make a surprise face? <gasps> like that. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He's looking at the list. To see what it is to put the toys down. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread.
He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. He, and laying a finger aside of his nose, he gave a, and giving a nod of the chimney, he rose. So you can see his boots. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and they, away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight. Look at he's following him in the snow. And the elves got back in there with him to help him. Merry Christmas to all, to all a good night. Can you see Santa? Yep, he's right on the moon. And there's all the elves again.